Every year, the Salvation Army partners with Walmart for over 2.6 million children in need through their annual Angel Tree program. Hi, I'm Lucy. Thank you for joining me for another video. And if this is your first time here, a very warm welcome to you. I hope you enjoy it. for over 2.6 million children in need through their annual Angel Tree Program. Through the Angel Tree Program, Christmas trees are placed inside of Walmart stores around the country. Each tree is covered in tags, which provide the age and requested gifts for each child. Shoppers can pick up a tag, buy the items, and turn in the donations before they leave the store. Adopt a family program is a bit different. It does not involve names hung on a tree. Instead, an entire family is adopted and may receive donations of gifts, toys, food, cleaning supplies, toiletries, and more. The sponsors can even donate gift cards. AmeriCorps Seniors is an organization that sometimes hosts senior angel trees that can help low-income seniors receive gifts as well. Cars for Christmas gives vehicles away every year to those in need. Each car is filled with groceries, including a Smithfield Christmas ham, as well as cleaning products, child safety seats, gas cards, toys for children, and more. Power wheelchairs may also be provided to veterans who are selected to win. Catholic Charities is a nationwide faith-based organization that may offer holiday help. We have found that they do offer free Christmas gifts and free holiday meals in many locations around the country, but there is no guarantee that they offer this service in your area. You'll need to reach out to your local chapter or wherever you're living for more information. The Lions Club International is a non-political service organization with branches all over the world. Many of their clubs offer holiday assistance program for low-income seniors and or children. These programs spread holiday cheer by providing free Christmas gifts, food, and companionship. My Two Front Teeth is an organization that helps connect donors with children who need to be sponsored. They connect with various community agencies that serve low-income children. In order to receive a gift from them, you must be referred by a partner agency. You'll need to find a partner agency in your area in order to receive a gift from this program. Operation Christmas Child is a project by the Samaritan's Purse. This organization gathers millions of gifts into shoeboxes, which are then shipped around the world to low-income children in more than 160 countries. The gifts are sent to local churches, which then distribute them to the children. Operation Homefront is a military family can receive Christmas help from Operation Homefront. This organization provides holiday meals for military families, as well as a holiday toy drive. Donations are gathered at local Dollar Tree stores in November and December and then distributed to military families in the area. Santa's Little Helpers The Reddit sub is allegedly the happiest place on Reddit. The community of over 28,000 people pools their resources to help thousands of people each holiday season. It's an incredible community. Of course, you'll need to be able to abide by their rules in order to receive help. One of the rules is that you must register at their link before requesting Christmas help in their forum. Registration usually opens at the beginning of November each year, so be sure to check back for updates on or around November. Remember that they do not award money or gift cards, only non-monetary gifts are provided. You must also update your posts when you receive a gift so that they are aware of who has been helped. St. Vincent de Paul is another nationwide faith-based organization that assists low-income families across the United States. Through their various organizations, St. Vincent de Paul is known to help with utilities, moving costs, clothing, food, basic needs, 
baby supplies, Thanksgiving meals, Christmas help, and so much more. Contact your local St. Vincent de Paul for more information about their Christmas assistance programs. Toys for Tots. Register for Toys for Tots by visiting the Marine Toys for Tots page. You'll be prompted to enter your state and select a local area. This will redirect you to your local Toys for Tots page where you can further receive directions. The application instructions and opening dates for applications may vary by state, so it's important to be prepared as early in the season as possible. For example, in Washington, eligible families are directed to visit the Washington State DSHS office to apply. All other applicants are encouraged to call a phone number to reach the local coordinator. Our local organization begins accepting of applications at the end of November, but may begin earlier. The United Way is a great place to find referrals and a local Christmas assistance program list. You can also check state-by-state -state list to find information about additional holiday help in your area. USPS Operation Santa. It's been reported that be an elf program for years and the USPS expanded the program nationwide. It's now called USPS Operation Santa. When your child sends a letter to Santa through USPS, a volunteer will open and scan the letter. They'll be uploaded to the website, but the family names and addresses are redacted. Volunteers can print out letters and an encoded address label. They shop for the requested items and then ship the item with the encoded label. The website includes tips on writing effective letters and some great information about how this all-volunteer program works. You can visit them for more information. Remember to send the letter between Thanksgiving and the 1st of December. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you would please kindly give me a like, comment below, share with others, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell to be alerted of every time I upload a new video. Please come back to see the next one. Until then, bye for now, and be blessed.